Hi, I'm Bob Lang, and I've just released a new version of the Woodworker's Guide to SketchUp, the book that thousands of woodworkers have used to learn 3D modeling for their furniture, cabinet, and other woodworking projects. Like the first edition, this book is an enhanced Adobe PDF format. That has a lot of features that make this book easier to use and extremely easy to get around. When you get to the table of contents, you'll find that each entry is a link, so you can find the chapter titles and the videos very quickly. To the left of the screen is a panel that has thumbnail images of each page. If you right-click on that, you can make the thumbnails bigger, and you can navigate the book that way. Within the 223 pages of the book, there are 51 videos. Now the first few chapters take you through the basics of SketchUp, how to create things that look like blocks of wood, how to combine them into groups, how to control them, and how to make simple objects. As we get further into the book, we start working on real woodworking projects. So in this project of a little shaker table, you'll learn how to make mortise and tenon joinery, tapered legs, and how to work with components, one of the keys to being efficient in SketchUp. You'll also learn the easy way to use the Follow Me tool. Now when you come to a video, you just click, there's the mute button. There's also a volume control, a pause, a stop, and with the slider, you can scroll forward or back within the video. Now the videos range from a minute or two long to up to seven minutes long. So there's plenty of video content in addition to the text. You'll learn some great techniques for efficient modeling so you can add detailed joinery and you can even stretch boards without disturbing the joints. You'll learn how to create joints like dovetails, but most importantly, you'll learn how to change and adapt what you've already drawn so you don't have to draw things from scratch every time. You can save parts and reuse them. You'll also learn how to leverage the power of components and use one part of a model to create another part. You can make a tenon and then use that to create a perfect mortise. I show you how to create cope and stick joinery that will match your existing router bits. Most importantly, I'll show you how to create a cope and stick door that you can copy and use over and over again simply by changing the size of the part strategic. I show you how to quickly add moldings with the Follow Me tool and the easy way to use Follow Me. There's a chapter on design, how to efficiently design in SketchUp, lay out the rough form, and then, and then I'll show you how to copy parts of that simple model and to create a precise model that will show you exactly what to build when you get to the shop. There's a chapter on turn parts, and like most of the book, it teaches you SketchUp by working on projects. So we'll make a typical shaker stand, We'll also make cabriole legs, OG bracket feet, and we'll even turn with a pommel. One of the new chapters shows you how to import a photo into SketchUp, scale that, and use that to create a model so you can make a reproduction of a piece just from a photograph and a few known measurements. The real value of a SketchUp model is the information within it. A good model will tell you everything you need to know about every part of a piece of furniture or a cabinet. This chapter tells you how to get that information out of the model in a form that works for you and take it to the shop. We also show you how to render a model, make it look realistic by applying wood grain, how to install plugins, including the popular Cutlist plugin. With that program extension, 
you can use SketchUp to generate an accurate cut list for your project. We also cover the differences between SketchUp Pro and the free version SketchUp Make, including how to use the solid tools in SketchUp Pro. In all, there are more than 200 pages of content, 50 videos, and hundreds of illustrations, all with the latest version of SketchUp. You can get the New Woodworker's Guide to SketchUp directly from me on my website, readwatchdo.com.